hey, it's Kaylee Gray, and I'm the fairy art mother at Get Messy, which means that I'm in charge of things. <laughs> I'm here with your final prompt of Messy May, and it is finished or unfinished. You get to choose. And in this prompt, I want you to think about what is finished when it comes to art anyway. I know that for a long time, I used to think that it was important to finish what you started. It was it was very important to finish a journal. You could not have unfinished journals on the shelf. And then life happened and things got crazy. And I started realizing that I was using needing to finish a journal as an excuse for not even making one page, which is the silliest idea. Um, I also started realizing that I would be making art and no longer feeling the journal and no longer enjoying either the paper or enjoying the rest of the art. It just wasn't mixing together for whatever reasons. I just used the excuses of finishing and not being able to finish and all of that to stop me from doing anything at all. My perfectionistic thinking was getting in the way of actually making the art that I had in my heart, that I had in my head, and that I really just wanted to make. There's a reason why Messy May is called a daily-ish challenge. <laughs> it's the idea that if you make one prompt from the 31 prompts that we give you, it is a celebration, and it's one more that you would have probably not done. So even one is amazing. My thinking in all things creative is more than zero is enough. And more than zero is worth absolute celebration. You can see that my messy made journal turned out super thick and chunky. It ended up with lots of tip ins, lots of washi tape to add papers in, lots of envelopes to add extra pages. Um, and I really just didn't want this journal to end. And that was because I had been full to the brim with other creatives and having an in-person meetup and all of those reasons. So no pressure if your journal is not as chunky as this. Uh, like I said, all art is worthy of celebration. And that includes all, all different quantities of art too. So I would love to see a flip through of your journal. Whether it's one completed page, one completed mark, one completed journal, I want to see all of it and I'm excited for it. Uh, I also encourage you to be totally okay with journals being finished when you decide they're finished. So um, if they're finishing for a reason or a season or you just don't like them anymore, just that's okay. I have loads of unfinished journals. I have journals lying in disarray all over my studio. And all of them are wonderful and glorious. And I encourage you to celebrate yours and all journals today. Thank you so much for being part of Messy May. I'm so proud of you for being brave, uh, putting yourself out there creatively and making art. Yeah.